Hello everybody, welcome to episode 56 of Project SkyQ2. Uh, today, I've been wanting to get rid of like a lot of this excess wiring set up here and uh, make sure that we can access wireless stuff elsewhere. Uh, along our base so that like this this is kind of sloppy here these p2p networks while they work out nicely uh in this pack we have a wireless any wireless connector so i want to Take a lot of this old Fluix network stuff set up, move some of our stuff uh, further along this circle because, like, we've got the room to do it and not have these long, drawn out cables. You know, it's, it's for the prettiness factor. So, we're going to make a wireless connector. Uh, which we have set up here, and the wireless setup card. We don't need more than one of these. So I'm just gonna have it make the wireless setup card here. Like so, and I only think we need one of these wireless setup cards. All right, so now we can type in wireless connector and we're gonna start with 10 of them. 10 should be a good number. All right. Now that we've got the, that done up, we're going to come up here. I think we can set this right on top of this. Yeah, it's devices online. It's got uh, channels connected to it by, because of that. This can accept energy cards. I'm not sure what the energy cards do. Um, and I'll just get rid of this, like, first setup right here. Wait, where is our, where is our pickaxe? We'll separate this. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Just separating these real quick. So, like, what we originally had here doesn't need to be like that anymore. We will set down another wireless here and you see that it says it's offline. Now if I read all of this stuff on this properly I can hit this and this and it'll bring this online with all of those and we can look at this 
and see that it is using five out of 32 channels going to that position. Uh, if we look there in the upper left, we'll see that that is the position for this, this device. So one of these per uh, device. So another thing we can do is clean up this right here. Some basic house maintenance stuff, guys. That That's what I wanted to do today. Um, that goes there. Want to set up another one there. And another one of these right here. We can have them setting side by side. Uh, we'll start by clicking this one and then we'll click here and we'll see that this is on to one device, but now we can actually add those guys in and look, nine devices used. Yes, so good so far, guys. Uh, and that that's, that's how we're going to bind up a lot of this stuff and clear up a lot of this. We're going to be cleaning up a lot of this excess pointless wiring here. Like... Gonna set up a another one. Another thing I want to clean up is the these uh, universal cables that we've got those all over the spot as well. So let's set this up here. Uh. Oh, we had an energy peer-to-peer -peer on this. Hmm. We're going to have to rewire all of our energy peer-to-peer -peer networks up. Set up the... Not export. We want the import bus on this and we'll put in the speed up cards uh, come over here to this side and I know it's like oh but you're just right off of this line, so why not just plug it into that? And no. No, we're, we're trying to... We're trying to set this up so that it looks better in the long run. And we know where everything is. Uh, export bus, and we'll say that it will export 
these with the speed upgrade. And set up another one of these with a wireless to wireless. All right. So now everything looks good. It's a lot cleaner. And I still want to clean up uh, all of this universal cable. So let's set that up as well. Um, we should now be able to get into flux. I will need a flux point, a flux plug, and a flux controller. I would also like to teach you, what is it, the Gar Herculean Gargantuan. Can we request one of those? Yeah, we can request one of these. Let's uh, get a gargantuan for the flux network so we've got excess power on this system. And we'll set the gargantuan up here. The flux controller there. Uh, we'll get the flux. Set the flux plug up here, I guess. And we're going to create a new network. We're going to say Malcor network. Give it the color purple. Uh, private. And we're going to tell it that it's going to use this bypass. So that should be pulling power into the network. But we first got to set this controller up to access the Malcor network. Chunk loading's fine. Uh, I want it to apply or turn on wireless to everything. Uh, that way our jetpack stays full, our uh, universal thing can be full, and we can also then turn this on it starts storing up all our power. Like, that's a pretty decent uh, power that it's allowed. All right, so now, with that done, we can start breaking off power to individual areas that need it and we don't have to run large bulky wire everywhere. This battery can be moved. Actually, the battery can be completely removed from this system now. Um... No, we 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 can keep this like this, I guess. It's this uh, handles this power over here, but we're gonna break this one right here. We're gonna place down a flux point for the Malcor network. We're going to allow it to bypass and surge and everything. That way, 
it can still get all the power it needs. Uh, we're going to need another one of those flux. Provides energy to adjacent blocks. Uh, make me 10 of these real quick. Yeah, we pretty much have the stuff that we need to make these because we've got the Carmite already. Flux, all that stuff is easy. Uh, we'll put one here. Malcolm Network. That looks good. We can come over here now. Uh, look at this, and we'll see that this requires three channels, okay? What all is it needing channels for? It's needing channels for this storage and this storage right here. And I think it was also getting power. Yeah, it was also getting power from the peer-to-peer -peer network. So we can break this all off here. Uh, put the storage back on. No, not the peer-to-peer. The storage bus. Here we go. Uh, we'll take that off as well. Put a storage bus back on here. Uh, let's see here. I want to make this wiring not look so bad. Not sure if we can do that, but we're going to try, especially since we're going wireless, guys. You know, we got to go wireless to clean up a lot of these nasty Bundit cords and everything. Um... What if we put this here and we put a storage bus here? Put those two cables like so. Now we can use that like this. We don't need these cables on this side anymore. And yeah, just down below like that. And that looks, that looks a lot better now. We can put a flux point here. And now this is getting power and we can hook this up to another spot along the line here. And like, we're, we're going to change this all out. You, you see that we were removed 
a bunch of wiring because of that now. Like, we could actually come over here, look at this. Okay, so this has a lot of wiring uh, due to the peer-to-peer -peer network stuff. We can easily come along here, break this. And this is only getting power on this side, so we could put one of these here. Say that it's connected to the core network. Uh, bypass all those limits. We're going to grab card overclockers, node overclockers. And uh, at laser, grab our card holder, grab more of those. We can put extractions in here, put cards in here. Okay, that allows for that at speed of one tick, energy limit, uh, 100%. We can do that to this as well. Okay, and that's pulling out only 100,000. Like, it's not pulling all the FE out that it can. Now, if we put in node overclockers into this, we see now it goes up to 200,000 uh, FE per tick. And that's because this right here is getting the power so is one of these other ones is getting the power of this one as well. Like it's really charging those up. We can also now put a wireless on here. The wireless card. Like so. And this right here. Now we've got our first five of these set up so that uh, pretty much everything is running at a decent pace. Um, Let me break some of these off here. Put the storage bus on here. A cable that comes off of here. We're just we're just going to steal from this. Cuz why not? That's just two, two of these wireless things. That way they're, they're still hooked up to the network. And we have this entire line right here now dedicated to being removed, which is great. Like so much more space we have down here. Now, I want to try to hook up this to the network and run the piglitch. Here we go. At hostel. 
grab this guy out, put you in here. You are maintaining your power. So it is going to get enough power since we've upgraded the power situation. Uh, we do get this generalized ender pro prediction module here. Uh, are you not getting the predictive networks? Why are we not getting hostile prediction matrices back in here? Oh, sediment glass. We're out of sediment glass. That is an issue for future me. Um, not enough sediment glass. I think that might be next episode. We'll set up more along this lines. Uh, between episodes, guys, I'm going to clear up all this peer-to-peer -peer networking so that it's no longer as ugly. Um... Like, I'm going to clear up all this peer-to-peer -peer networking so it's no longer ugly. We'll, we'll set up more of these wireless connectors throughout this underground base here. So that everything will be looking good. I'm also going to move the ME drives into someplace new. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to make that look. Uh, yeah, look there. We we already have this disconnected from this network over here. Fantastic. Fantastic. We just got to get this over onto an, its own wireless networking so that this will be cleaner. Uh, also... I want to get towards having a wither spawner in here. Um, yeah, definitely want to get a wither spawner set up in here. I'm just looking to see about this cables, what all it touches. <laughs> Looks like it's only touching everything on this side. So I'll fix all of this up. Make it all look nice again, guys. I will be back uh, next episode after we get some more of this cleaned up. Uh, we will work on getting some sediment glass set up. Uh, and... If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike it, go ahead, dislike it. Tell me why you disliked it down in the comments. If you haven't done yet, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And especially since you've already made it this far on this episode. Until next time, guys. Later, Gators.